So this five note ARP was the inspiration for this patch. This is kind of where I started. But the idea that I really wanted to play around with was rather than having a f uh, even five clock like this, what if I could have the clock accelerate uh, throughout the group of five? So how I did that You can hear it swings a little bit now. And so how this works is it's actually clocked off just a 1x clock, but I've used an LFO that I tuned to get a five subdivision. And then I use another LFO to modulate the frequency of this first one. So you can kind of see here that it speeds up um, and then we reset uh, that modulating LFO every beat. The way the ARP's done is with uh, that same modulating LFO going through a quantizer. I could have sequenced this, but I thought it was fun going through the quantizer. And then the sound is literally just a default saw wave PCF ADSR. I think I took this from the default patch, actually. Um, did run it through another pair of filters here, just to, um, particularly that lower note. Stands out and clips a bit much, so ran it through a high pass to cut that out. Um, uh, and then also just cut off a little bit of the highs as well. Uh, it's also running through some a little bit of delay and quite a bit of resonance. via these sends. So you can do some cool stuff actually by cranking cranking the delay and the reverb. So with that I wanted to play around with some sort of percussion. I didn't really want a standard kit part so Is using the tremor 2 and as a the hats uh, side of it or the noise side of it and the interesting bit is that it we modulate the uh, decay and cut off I don't think that's right um, well maybe it is we were playing around but basically the the thing here is that the resonance here is cranked And then, yeah, just resetting, modulating with an LFO that resets every now and then using this Bernoulli gate. Also got this. Started as a kick, but I wanted to pitch it a lot higher because uh, I didn't really want to kick in this. Uh, so it sits pretty low in the mix and I'm running this through a band pass up here. take the high part of it. And then next up, a uh, bass part. using Foundry. This actually started as a, there wasn't any rhythmic variety here, I was actually just running constant triplet notes over the top. It wasn't really working, I left it running, left the broom, and the filtering I got through the wall meant that I only heard every other note, and that gave me the idea for this. Again, a relatively standard patch here, a bit of slew, the XCO to get some good waveforms, 
uh, and then I actually take two filters. One is a standard low pass and the other is a, a band pass and then I mix them together. So that's the band pass. Actually work pretty well modulating that over the course of a song and then there's a bell on top uh, so again relatively simple voice here uh, using the macro oscillator here SR's filters probably through a little bit of delay and resonance yeah delay and resonance by the sends here so that's it so it's a relatively simple patch harmonically but it was really just what can I get playing around with this wonky five subdivided clock what it's done is it effectively moved the third beat over until it's almost uh, a just a normal subdivision a normal two subdivision so it just gives this kind of swung feel Anyway, pretty successful. I think I could almost make a song out of this if I came out with a bridge and expanded it out, but I think for now I'm going to leave it and move on. So yeah, I forgot really cool things happen when I turn off the clock as well, because usually what's happening, the clock's driven from this LFO that gets reset really often. Um, and if it's not being reset, then it just keeps going and gets really high and does weird stuff. So that was another fun discovery. Anyway, I'll leave it there. I uh, hope you had fun. Hope you got, hope, hope it gave you some ideas and I'll see you next time.